How's it going, everybody? That's Juicy Box, and today we've got a game of Capture the Flag on Scrapyard. Um, great map. It's got some good shapes on it, some rectangles, cylinders, uh, cars, all that good stuff. Um, I'm using the UMP45 with FMJ, um, Stopping Power Pro, Marathon Pro, and Ninja Pro with my handy-dandy Semtex grenades. Um, kind of a kind of a run and gun class, if you will. And um, all right, let's get into it. Uh, playing um, the game type I'm playing is team tactical, which is kind of like a it's it's a kind of competitive game type. A lot of people go into it um, with a team of four or three. It's it's meant to be a four v four game play. Um, you know, game type I mean, and Basically what you do is you play almost any any game type there is. You can play deathmatch, capture the flag, you know, demolition, search and destroy, all that good stuff. So definitely I recommend you guys to go out and, you know, play this playlist with some friends. Um, this game I'm actually playing with two other friends, so it's a group of three of us. We were hoping for um, some 3v3 matches, but... We did get a random on our team, no big deal. Still gonna try to pull off the win. And yeah, so I'm gonna try to give you guys some tactics for capture the flag. Um, right now I'm at the other team's spawn. Of course they're gonna spawn um, near their flag. And you know, I make a mistake there of leaving, but um, it's not too big of a mistake because even though I was getting kills, over by their flag. I was not helping my team out that much. I mean, you know, to help your team out, you need to be with your team. And unfortunately, I wasn't. And it's safe to say that maybe I caused the other team to cap that flag. Um, who knows? But so that was partially my bad. But that's why I post these videos. So, you know, we can all learn from it, learn from my mistakes. And I don't know, that sounded good kind of like a Confucius thing or something. Um, yeah, y'all. Yeah. So, what you want to do when capture the flag is push as a team very much like Halo 3. If any of you guys played, you know, MLG in Halo 3, you want to push as a team, um, shoot as a team, kind of make callouts. Um, and what callouts are for any of you guys who, you know, haven't really played kind of competitively before, it's, you know, just... Um, they c it can be as simple as like, you know, like over by that dumpster, or it can be, you know, as intense as like L2 corner, I don't know, whatever you guys call out. I mean, for the most part, me and my friends just call out, you know, like over by the, you know, the minivan or by that truck. Um, I'm sure we'll get better call outs later, but, you know, it's just how it is, I guess. And... So yeah, you want to push as a team, and uh, when a lot of the enemies are dead, that's when you take the flag and, and run it, because, you know, Capture the Flag has got maybe like a seven second respawn time, I believe, and that's enough time to run a flag, you know, more than halfway across the map on this map, and that's what I do right here. Our whole team was kind of pushed up to their spawn, and um, except for this one guy that apparently we didn't see, but... Luckily, I have my teammate there, you know, call him out um, and get the flag return and capture. And that's what I really like about capture the flag. Um, you'll see this first round, my KD is actually pretty good. I think I go 22 and 3 than the first round. But uh, capture the flag is not at all about kill death uh, spread or whatever you call it. Um, you know, in the second round, I die, like, you know, six or seven times. I think I die six times in the second round, you know, which is a lot um, in consideration that, you know, a lot of people that post videos on YouTube are going, like, you know, 40 and 2 and whatnot, but I really think, you know, if I could get a 40 and 2 gameplay while running and gunning and still going for the you know, going for the flag and helping my team. I would definitely post that game up, but um, I just kind of want to show this video that 
you know, how, how you can play well while still being a team player and, you know, going for the win. And, yeah, so right now we're reaching the end of the first round. Um, there's not really enough time to, for any team to get a flag cap. So I figure I'll just, you know, go, um, just go hide over here. I mean, there's no reason to risk dying, you know, if there's, you know, no reward for it. So, yeah, I'm going to start speeding up the second round here just because, um, it's kind of slow and, you know, I, d I don't really play that well. And I have to get under the 10 minute time limit for YouTube. Darn YouTubers. And, um... Yeah, so let's see. For capture the flag, tip number one for me would be going with friends. Um, you know, play with friends and you know have some fun, call some stuff out. And um, tip number two would be always have a um, at least one or two people on your team have a running class. And basically, what I mean by that is the person that's running the flag, you're gonna want him to have marathon. Um, maybe even lightweight, um, and yeah. So you see here, my teammate gets a triple with the predator. So I'm gonna take that flag and I'm gonna run it out, run it back to our base for the score. Um, you know, when you when you play with um, random people, and what I mean by that is when you go in alone to team tactical or any game type for that matter, a lot of people just go for the kill death ratio and. You know, I'm not against that at all. I mean, if you're playing with random people, you know, they can do whatever they want, but that's just how it is. They're going to they're going to go and do whatever they want to do. So, I really suggest playing with friends. That way you don't get people that you know, you know, don't go for the win because if you want to go for the win, um it's it's not it's not their fault for not wanting to go to the for the win, you know. Um so just keep that in mind. Don't get frustrated at your people, at friend, at not at friends. I mean, at randoms for not going for the win because you know they can do what they want. So that's the that's my story for today. So life lesson right there. Confucius say. I'm sorry, that was really stupid. But anyways, um, so the game is I believe tied at three three. We haven't got too long left. And um, you've seen I've kind of died a lot so far. I just there I just died again, and it's important in you know games like this to not get frustrated when you die, or you can get frustrated, but don't don't lose your head. Don't you know you know get super upset because kill death is really it it means nothing in my books when you're playing um, a team game and when you're playing um, for the objective. So, you know, I'm sure, you know, I know there's people out there who only care about kill death, but, you know, I don't care at all. And that's my opinion on that. that. That's what I think about that. Yet. It's a little force gun for you. And, uh, yeah, so right now my team's kind of pushing up, or at least I'm pushing up. This is kind of risky, actually. I'm, like, the only one there. And I t decided to take a little route around here trying to hide from the Harriers right now. They could have killed me right there, but they I guess I was running too fast and we get that fourth flag capture, so, you know, we take the lead. And uh you know this game's been pretty much on and on and off. They've had a flag cap, we had one. And, you know, we all knew it was gonna come down to who gets the last flag cap. And there's not that much time left and you know, good thing I had that predator missile or they could have scored there. And my teammate returns it. Um, so yeah, basically I'm just going to camp it out for the rest of the game. Um, you know, game over. We got the last flag cap and it's all good. I think I got, you know, three, maybe three flag caps out of the four. And yeah, so if you guys like this um, team objective kind of stuff, team tactical, you know, where my KD, it's alright. It's not amazing, but you know. Um, going for the objective, then tell me, and I'll upload some more videos and give some more tips on different playlists. Alright, I'll see you guys in my next video, and uh, peace out.